Also, maybe we can look at this guy. I, I saw him moving. You saw him moving. Okay, fine. I'll talk to him. You know, be brave. Summon that courage. That's horrific. Yeah, okay. You know, your tools, your weapons, fires, bugs, light, bats. I don't know what it means. I've been in the game and I still don't know what it means. Maybe it's telling me to, like, you know, uh, do attack something with something? I don't know. Maybe I can look at this doll. It's just a doll. See that glowing stuff over there? Don't touch that. It's bad. Now, let's see what we got here. A rune axe. Oh, well. You know, my, my exploration team, they're all geared up, but, um... Everyone else, but like Akiko and Taro, they're not. And also, we got a wisp. I'm gonna call everyone. Go take care of this thing right here, right now. So, in addition to this being an NES RPG, uh, you'll find out when you move into areas, you'll encounter stronger monsters. And stronger monsters means that you're probably gonna have a easier chance at dying. Let's be honest. Uh... A lot can happen. Sometimes you'll want to be a certain level. Sometimes you'll run into worms. Worms are pretty, pretty haphazardous when you're level two, but not, not, not completely impossible. I know what you're thinking. You're what the? Okay, uh, whatever that was, glitch or whatnot. Uh, you're probably thinking worms. How, how can those be deadly? And I, I'm with you. Like, how can those? Maybe it's the fact that they all grew up up like that. I don't know. They try to use status effects, which I'm wondering myself, how do worms do anything? You know, uh, where are these parasitic worms? I don't know. Asuka's poison. So, all I'm gonna do is use that. Yeah, she's cured. No big, no big. So another thing to, to note, for uh, your own information, more, more mine, I guess, some party members can equip certain things like the rune axe tara can equip that but asuka or i was gonna say asuka but no akiko akiko can't i don't think asuka can either also more enemies we got we got dolls you know what i'm not worried it's the easiest enemy in the entire game gives one experience we need the other team over here. Uh, there, there's glass. No one can do anything about that except for Asuka. She has the, she has the ability to. In fact, in the movie, you actually see her with the vacuum. So, you know, to, to the game's credit, they actually had that going on. So, yeah. As for Emmy, I don't know if she actually had the key. She did try the key, but everyone else did. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Why she has the key, I guess, is because everyone else had makes sense, except I don't recall Kazuo actually having a lighter. He doesn't smoke or anything, he just, he has a lighter. I don't know, I can't explain it. I didn't make the movie. But yeah, you know, vacuum, tonic, uh, more knives. In fact, uh, let's get a Kiko equipped with, uh, this. This looks good. Okay, that's a silver knife. The other one was a fruit knife. At least, if I recall. Whoa! <laughs> Start me off lightly, game. Well, I guess this, the zombie was pretty horrific. Or whatever it was. <laughs> Grabby hand, body man. I don't know. This is a skeleton. Uh, the light fell. I was too... What? What do you mean the light fell and you were too slow and you're telling us to be where... A... I don't get you, Skelly Man. I'm just gonna take a look at this fresco. This one's a little different, okay? The other one was much brighter, and it's asking us how to preserve it, but this one's covered in dust, so just like in the movie, Asuka's gonna use a vacuum and clean that up. And yeah, and now we're gonna go to uh, Taro and Akiko, because, you know, that's how you do it. I always want to use the camera from out here, but it doesn't work. And if you try it, it'll say it doesn't work. Nothing happens. But if you look at it and you use it, 
letters appear. So January fifteenth, one needed, or one needs a mallet to remove a boulder. So it's giving us a clue for for a thing that we gotta do. I'm also gonna leave the tonic. I like to leave tonics in a very gettable place, a very easy to access place. Cause let's be honest, there. Well, there is an abundance of them, and you don't need to be super lenient on which ones you use. You, there is a little bit of they are in limited supply. Oh, hey, it's that light. It's falling. Um, Beyonce. She knows what to do. Okay, apparently she doesn't because it crashed and I got three damage. Uh, sometimes you'll walk around and random things will happen like that. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. It, but they really don't do a whole lot of damage, so... Even even if they do hit you, it's not it's not like end of the world. Oh my god, I need a tonic right now. Anyways, here's another door. It's locked. I know what you're thinking. You're like Emmy, use that key. It doesn't work. See, her key unlocks a lot, but not everything. On the other hand, it does unlock this door. You don't need to do this, but I do it because. If you do go this way, there there is a thing you can do. Like, look at this uh, skeleton. Who just is noted as a skeleton. And in blood, avoid the shadows. Which is what I was telling you. you no, know, those flashy little blotch black uh, red things. Um, I don't know. B, uh, show that. Uh, lighter. Rope there. We got a little rope barrier. Anyways, uh... I think what I will do is, uh... Asuka, you, you replace that silver knife with the oak spear, because... That's, a, it's a It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. The knife items that we've seen so far, they're, they're kind of... Uh, the, the weakest weapons in the whole entire game. Don't need it. Don't need them. Anything we can get is better. At least that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say right now. Uh, as you can see, all we're doing is just kind of exploring this old house. Destroying uh, rope barriers. Which, again, I, I find that weird. I mean, like, how can rope be a barrier? Can't you step over it? There's the shadows that was telling us to be aware. That's a locked door. This one, not so much. This one is totally... Uh, not, you can't burn it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. I mean, even if you were to use a lighter on a door, I mean, it still, still takes a little bit of effort. You know, may, maybe we need some sort of, uh, agent, like, like, uh, or catalyst. Catalyst is a good word. To, like, you know, make it burn down like gasoline. One is caught prey. Caught by what? You, like an object? That kind of object? I need levels. Yours, it'd be a good idea if I could get to level four. So, like any of other NES RPG, it's very important that you actually do maintain somewhat of a, somewhat of a level. Cause, again, stronger enemies equals pain. That's kind of how it was back in the day. You know, you, you kind of have to grind up a little bit. Fortunately, this game doesn't doesn't make you do it nearly as much also uh, that thing yeah don't don't get caught let's uh let's talk to this bleeding man room weapons prevent fear and curses and we got boulders that thing was telling us we need a mallet so guess what we got our first objective we gotta go get a mallet uh we got Enemies, stronger enemies. Are the chances it's gonna be new? Uh -huh, okay, it's new. We got a skull. I don't know what you're thinking. How, why? Why a skull? Is it cursed? Is it magical? Does it does it come to life and try to kill you? Uh, and also, if those bats touch any party member, uh, it ends the call. Also, there you go. That's how. That's how it's lethal. There's snakes inside the skull. 
why we couldn't fight the snakes. I don't know why they decided to make that skull their home. I don't know, but they did. It's what they do. We're just we're just gonna like destroy it. Look, we got we got spears, we got knives, we got um Taro being poisoned. I, I got I got an idea. What we're gonna do is we're gonna control Taro and we're gonna use the kit from that Akiko has that he's teamed up with. And simple as that. We also got bats. Now this is a pretty interesting situation because well we do have bats. We're also very close to getting attacked by the other bat. So if I'm if I'm fortunate enough I can actually do what I just did. Well they try well they poisoned me, but in all reality I assume it's not poison, it's rabies. But either way you look at it, I mean she's poison. And yeah, now it's starting to show why you want to be a higher level because we're we're doing pretty pretty pathetic damage right here. One one damage, one damage, one damage, one damage. Dang it, yo! I need I need more. I need more. Okay, so uh, let's see. Taro, I'm just gonna have you attack Akiko. Uh, you know what? Pray, pray. If you uh, if you run into, uh, uh, whoa, what the? Sweet, <laughs> that worked out just dandy. All right, so if you run into any sort of issues and you're just like, oh man, we're not doing enough damage. How am I gonna get out of this? I need a really strong attack. I don't know what to do. What you can do is you can you can pray. I know that seems kind of weird, because. You know, outside of Earthbound, when has praying actually been, like, a thing? Well, I guess if I think about it, you probably could name a couple games, but that's besides the point. The point is, praying. When does that really become a factor? Well, in this game, you know, it's it's actually more or less like a magical attack, you know? It, it's the strength of the mind, you know, your faith. If it's high enough, you know, you can, you can do anything. You can believe that you're, like, I don't know, some sort, like... Like some sort of Superman, like Hulk Hogan. That's that's all I can think of in terms of super strong superpower. But uh, yeah, you know, totally. You can totally like just uh, muster up the strength to become super awesome. What we got here? An upgrade. Uh, Kazuo, you use that. He can't. Well, I tried. I can use the vacuum. That's what I'll do. We got another candle over there. Uh, I'm gonna give that to the other team because we already have a candle. We can already see in the darkness. They can't. It just doesn't work that way. All I can do is use the vacuum over here. Vacuum up this class. Man. I, I tell you, that vacuum doesn't sound right. I mean, you can say that's, that's what the NES could do in terms of like, you know, sound bits and it's probably the closest thing they had to to an actual oh not what I wanted to do yeah if you use team on a team it actually just splits up your team if if I if that makes sense hey, everyone got that uh, Kiko instead of that silver that silver knife take the rune sphere it's totally an upgrade Let's take a look at this thing the doll you know it's a doll it's pretty cool no it's an evil doll telling us welcome so I guess it's the nice doll it's, it's not trying to kill us not out for our blood. Uh, take that wax candle. So, something that's probably good to know is I'm level three. Everyone's level three. I wish I was level four. We got a battle. Where are the chances of something I don't want? Very high, cause guess what? It's a it's a zombie. It's a goddamn grabby hand zombie. <laughs> um. It. If you're level three, run. Just, just run. It, it'll wreck you. It'll, it'll straight up just, just wreck you. They do a status effect that wrecks you. Dead. Yeah, it wrecks you dead. Uh, why did you abandon me? Oh. You know, it's like that. That's how I feel. Why did you abandon me? This right here, though. This, this is nice. Uh. I'm actually not gonna get rid of the fruit knife because I can actually do something else. I'm gonna upgrade for that later. 
What I am going to do, though, is use this key over here. Open this door. Take a look inside the door. And then abruptly just get told, Go away, this is not your place. Hurl into a wall! <laughs> I don't know why I always found that entertaining. Anyways, I think also what would be a good idea is actually, you know, instead moving this tonic. Because, I gotta be honest, I, I, uh, I, it's always good to at least have a tonic. Now then, we got, we got another objective, you know, we gotta get to a generator. Yeah, there must be a generator nearby, but where? 